Thank you all. I'm going to try to do a very slow intro so that Josh and David can start eating. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> He's seen me hungry. <laughs> I've, I've been to the top a few times. It's not a, not a pretty sight. Not a pretty sight. Well, thank you all for coming again to our second conversation about rising. Um, as, as you know, these are a series of conversations that we have with. Uh, local leaders, champions, and, and heroes in, in our community to talk about how they pursue the American dream. Uh, there are some truisms about the American dream that here, here at Boston Rising we've uncovered. Uh, in order to achieve the American dream, and we call it rising at Boston Rising, three things have to be in place. Um, access to social connections. And so we hope that when you came here, you had an opportunity to meet folks that you might have not met before, or you had an opportunity to meet new people, or mix elbows with some of the staff here, or reconnect with old friends that you haven't seen before. So social connections is one of the ingredients for folks to pursue the American dream. It's who you know, it's how those people mentor you and guide you, and it's the connections that they, they make. The other truism about rising in America is access to jobs. And so one of the tools which many Americans have used for rising is a good job. Uh, there's a story that you, one day you find a job, you start in the mailroom, and you work your way up and 20 or 30 years later, you get a gold watch and retire. Um, those days might be behind us, but we still understand that a job and access to income is one of the tools that Americans have historically used as a tool to achieve